Heavy machinery and the skills of those who operate them are vital to just about any demolition job. But don't be fooled into thinking that it's just a case of turning up, knocking it down, and then getting out of town. The strategizing and the planning that goes on before and during all of these projects is just as important as the brute force that ends them. With the shed gone and the chimneys now fully accessible, the site resembles Lymouth's answer to NASA's Cape Canaveral. Let's just hope these rockets clear space and don't take off into it. Entrusted with choreographing the felling of these flues is explosives expert Robin Rushforth. What we're essentially going to do is prepare them so we can blast a wedge-shaped section out of the bottom of them, pretty much in the same way as felling a tree. Robin's plan is to weaken each of the towers and strategically place the explosives in a way that should control the all-important direction they'll fall when the charges are detonated. What you need to do is be certain that the section you blast out the bottom is actually going to make them go in the right direction. Because the chimneys are only 300 mil to 350 mil thick, we drill the holes down at 45 degrees. We don't drill them horizontally. This is one of the breakouts that we do. This is in the actual side of the chimney. So the actual direction of fall for this chimney is going to be straight down that way, down the side. What we've got is it's a triangular shape coming down to here. So this is the hinge line. This section here is not being blasted, whereas in front of it is the bit that's coming out. And Robin's all too aware of the disastrous consequences that not controlling the collapse could lead to. The issue is that we have got the live substation behind the chimneys. 